Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is finally going to be my no makeup makeup look. So this look is going to be perfect for school, work, go to the gym or anywhere really that you don't want to look like you have a ton of makeup on. So hopefully it looks like I'm not wearing much makeup right now and if you want to see how I did this, just keep watching. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a peachy corrector to counteract my dark circles. So this is the Bobbi Brown, Brown. So this is the Bobbi Brown corrector in light peach. And I'm just going to take some of this on my finger and pop that under my eyes. Then I'm going to take a soft blend concealer brush and blend that out. Ah, uh, actually no, the first thing you should have done is prime. So I'm going to do that now. It's not that big of a deal that I'm doing it now. I'm just going to avoid like my eye area. So I'm using the Benefit Professional and I'm going to concentrate this where I need it. So on my cheeks, nose and forehead. This is just going to help smooth out any lines and fill in any pores. Uh, so we have like a nice even base. If you have any issues with redness or dullness, you can get specific primers to help with that. I know Makeup Forever and Smashbox do primers for those, but today I'm just going to use my Benefit Professional. So now that we are primed, I'm going to take a stick concealer. This one is the CoverGirl True Blend Fix Stick, and I'm just going to put this on any spots that I want to kind of hide a bit. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my foundation. Today I'm going to use the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation. No, the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum Gel Foundation. And I'm going to mix this in with my moisturizer to kind of create like my own custom tinted moisturizer. You can always go out and like buy your own tinted moisturizer, but this kind of like saves money and this way you're getting like the perfect color match. Um, I know with me, I find it very hard to find my color in tinted moisturizers. They always seem like really pinky or too orangey. So yeah, this is what I'm going to do. So I'm just scooping out some of my moisturizer. Uh, recently I've been using the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. But I'm just going to scoop some out onto my hand there. And then I'm just going to take a bit of foundation. So I'm just going to mix these two together and then apply it to my face with my Beauty Blender. Our Beauty Blender is really good for this because it's going to soak up any excess product so we don't look all like cake face. <laughs> I'm going to blend this up under my eyes as well. Then I'm just going to take any foundation that's left over on my sponge and blend this up onto my eyelid just to help hide some of that discoloration going on up there. Now for blush, we want this to look really natural, so I'm going to use a cream blush. So I'm going to take the shade Cider from the How About Them Apples palette by The Balm. And I'm just going to take this on a duo fiber powder slash brush brush blush brush. <laughs> and then blend this into my cheeks. Now because my skin is pretty much an oil slick, I'm going to take some translucent powder and I'm going to use this to set my face. So this is the Makeup Forever HD powder and I'm just taking this on a tapered face brush and I'm going to use this first to set the um, corrector under my eyes and take that up onto my eyelid as well. This powder is awesome because I find like no matter how much you apply of it, it never looks cakey and it never looks like you're wearing powder. Then I'm just going to lightly set the rest of my face as well with this. Now we're going to skip contouring today and we're going to go straight to highlighter. So the highlighter I'm going to use is the Illuminating Highlighter by Jessica Hart. So this is a cream product as well. So I'm just going to take some of this on my finger and I'm going to start off by just tapping some on top of my cheekbones. Can you guys see that like nice gloss that's added? Wow. Then I'm also going to apply some underneath my brow bone. Then just at the highest points of my eyebrow and bring that forward towards the center of my forehead. Then the inner corner of your eyes. Of the nose and then blend that upwards. Onto your chin. 
and your cupid's bow. Now for eyebrows, as much as it pains me not to fill them in, uh, I'm just going to use some of the Ardell Brow Sculpting Gel on them today. This is in the shade Dark, I think it was. It doesn't have it written on there. So this is just a tinted brow gel, so it's going to add a bit of colour to the sparse areas. And I'm just going to brush this through my eyebrows. Then for eyeshadow, we're literally just going to take a bit of bronzer on a tapered blending brush and blend this into our crease. <laughs> so just really, really lightly, just to add like a tiny bit of definition to our eyes. Next, I'm just going to really quickly grab a liquid eyeliner and I'm going to... How do I explain this? <laughs> I'm going to go in up under my eyelashes and just put dots every so often uh, onto my lash line so that our eyelashes look fuller because as you guys can probably tell my eyelashes are teeny tiny then for my lower lash line I'm just gonna take this uh, inner rim brightener by Sigma just to brighten up my eyes a little bit of course if this is too many steps for you just skip this. <laughs> Next up I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes. This is like a vital step for me because if I don't do this my eyelashes kind of slant downwards and then make my eyes look even smaller. Then I'm gonna add a coat of mascara and the mascara I've been loving right now is by Eye of Horus. This one is just really good at separating your lashes and making them look really natural. So I'm gonna concentrate this on the roots and then wiggle it upwards. Then I'm just going to put a little bit of this on my lower lashes as well. Then for lips, I'm just going to take a tinted lip balm. This one is by Carmex in the Moisture Plus range. So it's just got a little bit of a tint to it. I know it looks really dramatic in the tube, but as you're going to see, it's not. Then just to finish this look off, I'm going to take some of the Urban Decay De-Slick Makeup Setting Spray. Oh, I think I sprayed that too close to my face. <laughs> so yeah, I think we're done. So this is the finished look. Uh, I hope you guys learnt something or found this video helpful. Uh, don't forget to thumbs this video up if you liked it. No, that's a thumbs down. Don't do that. <laughs> Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos every week. I hope you're all having an awesome week and I'll see you again soon. Bye guys! Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is on this bright summery makeup and I'm also going to show you my hair and outfit because I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty 